What we are wanting to show you is um, how to control a Parrot AR drone from the second version with bare hands. What we are using here is the Creative Labs interactive gesture camera and we are using the Intel Perceptual Computing SDK. So to start the drone we just point our hands uh, into the camera and they will be recognized and to start the drone I have to make a thumbs up gesture. Now. The drone starts and uh, the position of my hands were saved as reference coordinates and everything what I'm doing right now is relative to those um, reference coordinates. So you can see I can control the drone, I can change the jaw for example. I can move to the left, to the right, I can fly backwards and forwards, I can change the aid, I can low, lower. So the drone is an off-the-shelf product, it's the Parrot AR drone, available in stores everywhere. So um, it basically connects to a laptop using Wi-Fi and a few TCP and UDP ports. Normally you are controlling the drone with a smartphone, there is uh, some Android software, some iPhone software. So uh, this is the normal way, but uh, for us it wasn't that cool, so we've just uh, started to use this uh, creative gesture camera and the Intel Perceptual Computing SDK. The first thing we did, we used uh, another controller and tried to build something that can steer the drone using the tracking of our fingers. But then we got into the Intel Hackathon uh, in, in Munich and uh, we tried to port the software to the perceptual computing SDK. What we are using here is, uh, you see, an Ultrabook and we've just connected a creative gesture camera. And this camera is a 3D death camera, so you can uh, identify gestures making with your hands and uh, you are also able to um, identify the coordinates where your hands were. Normally you will implement your software using the C or C++ libraries, but we are Java experts, so we've used the Java bindings. There are two parts in the software. One part is uh, the drone API. Um, we've implemented also in Java because uh, we want to send some commands to the drone, fly forward or backward or whatever. Okay, this is one part. Uh, how many? T how much time does it take? Yeah, so I think about less than a hundred hours or something like that. Yeah. Working time. Yeah, but the uh, the the Intel perceptual part uh, took one day. 24 hours to get it working. To, to get, get it working, it working yeah. Smoothly, there was there was some. More work involved. We need some uh, additional time to to implement the filtering stuff and to make it more stable and precise. But the prototype was there in 24 hours. We have licensed the API using a GPL license, and this is um, a pretty good model because yeah. we're using we're using other libraries that also use the yeah. GPL. So it's published on GitHub, the project as open source. Many people, uh, I think, they, they find that it's a really intuitive way to control such a drone because it's like a virtual airplane yoke. You know, uh, you can control the drone with those gestures, yeah, this is really intuitive. And to land the drone, you have to make a thumbs down gesture.